à tous les DVO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcain, allumage AP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale. est nominale. And there, and there we, we go. We can, uh, we've seen the Ariane 5 lift off, roaring through the tropical sky, carrying juice on the first leg of her journey into space. And now she has disappeared under the crowds and see there in Kourou, there are many places from which to uh, to watch these launches. As you can see, the beach, uh, any place. Ah, and here we have we have a glimpse again of of the rocket. Raphael, it, it's an amazing uh, sensation for you as well, I'm sure. Yeah, even with the clouds, it's just. La trajectoire est nominale. Tous les paramètres bord sont nominaux. It's really, really always impressive, and it's an emotion to to see it. So the DDO said that the trajectory is nominal, which means that it's working perfectly, it's going as planned. And the propulsion is nominal, the pilotage is calm. And in fact, just to, to, to sum up what the DDO does in, in three words, his responsibility, uh, as far he, he's the person who calls out every milestone along the way, and he's in charge of providing uh, information on propulsion, guidance, and trajectory. Exactly, he's like an orchestra conductor gathering all the information and summarizing it in real time. And soon we'll have booster separation. We're waiting for confirmation from the DDO. Separation des OAP. So the boosters have been safely separated. This is great. This is, they have provided 90% of the overall thrust of the flight. So they're doing the main job. And then soon we'll have the separation of the fairing. And by the way, you see a special drawing on the fairing right here. Children around the world will ask to submit artwork La trajectoire inspired, est inspired by Juice's epic journey. And on this fairing, we see one child's interpretation of Jupiter embracing our spacecraft. Everything is nominal. Tous les paramètres bord sont nominaux. All parameters are going smoothly. And there we have it. We've seen it in our, in our 3D And we've just heard it from the DDO. Confirmed. So the fairing was used to protect the satellite from the friction of the air, but also from the noise generated during the ascent phase. We obviously need to safely separate the fairing. Um, otherwise, we would not be able to release juice into space. It La also means est nominal. It also means that we have crossed the limit of the atmosphere. So Juice is on its way to be separated in about 24 minutes from now. So by the way, so, yeah, we, we will have um, so the separation of the cryogenic stage when it has placed the launcher on an intermediate orbit. After this, I can mention that during, and we can actually see it on the motion design, um, because this is 3D animations here, um, that during the ascent phase, the launcher is set in what we call a barbecue mode. So it's slightly rotating on itself at a speed of 0 0.7 degrees per le second. Est calme, la propulsion est nominale. So we do this so that every phase of the satellite is equally exposed to the sunlight. We just want to avoid overheating in one particular side of the spacecraft, which could damage the instruments. And as a matter of fact, when the upper stage is going to be injected on the targeted orbit, it will also rotate 
at a speed of 0 0.5 degrees in one direction, and then at the same speed in the other direction. Um, again, to avoid overheating on one part of the spacecraft, exactly like, you know, a barbecue. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and of course, there are the onboard computers. What are they measuring right now, Raphael? Well, they optimize the trajectory. La propulsion in... est nominal, le pilotage est calme. Everything is nominal, so they optimize the trajectory in real time. They minimize the propellant consumptions to bring the launcher to the intermediate orbit targeted at the end of the main stage propulsion phase. And as a matter of fact, we are accelerating a lot right now. So within the next three to four minutes, we'll go from, well, 3.5 kilometers per second to more than uh, seven kilometers per, per second. So how much is that per hour? Because you're That's the engineer. 25,000 kilometers per hour. And ultimately, juice will be separated at the speed of almost, of almost 10 kilometers per second. Uh, and uh, it will be separated at, alt at an altitude of 1,533 kilometers. Very precise. Okay. So the next milestone we are now waiting for, and we'll uh, be hearing this again from the DDO, is uh, the acquisition uh, by our downrange station of Natal. That is located in the, uh, on an island in the middle of the Atlantic. I'll just uh, wait and hear that from, from the DDO. He may not have uh, confirmed it uh, orally, but that but by now it's Just, just to explain, all along the route eastwards, iron is tracked from the ground. So the launcher's functions and vital signs are recorded and sent back to a network of stations that keeps constant watch on the health of the launcher systems. And we have we have it. the and confirmation of course, that the first... Apologies, of course, I did not mean Ascension. I meant Natal, Natal. over the border in Brazil, of course. That's the second and, downwind station. And just so you know, in all, that's about 1,500 parameters that is collected. Collected, my goodness. So that there's no way these nominal, tous les uh, the parameters can be beaucoup. analyzed in real time, Raphael. What happens to them? Well, the complete analysis is carried out in the weeks following the launch by a dedicated team. Um, they provide a wealth of information about how the vehicle performed during its mission. Um, and so this is why we constantly well, improve our knowledge of a launcher, launch after launch. And then that's why RN5 is such a reliable launcher. Mm. And so you were talking about the, uh, the stations, and it's a little bit, you were saying to me earlier when we were chatting, it's like a relay race, these stations, isn't it? He's down uh, yeah. You were listening to the DDO. What did he say? I didn't hear him. He said that all the parameters are working perfectly. Nominal, that's what so we like to the hear. flight is perfectly smooth. So yeah, this is like a relay race with one telemetry station passing the baton to the next one because we want to keep full visibility of the launcher in all dynamic phases of the flight. So the first stations to pick up the data was Galio, right here in Kourou, mm -hmm. followed by Natal in Brazil, then the, the island of Ascension in the middle of the Atlantic, and followed by Libreville in Gabon, and finally Malindi in Kenya. As the launcher crosses Africa. Nominal, tout nominal. 